Really, John? Really? You're gonna come out here and tell me, tell me to put on my big boy pants when you're coming out here self-medicating? Hmm? You think that's gonna get you ready for this match this week? But to face Adam Cage, you need to pop some pills and wash it down with your shitty American beer. That stuff that tastes like piss in a can. Americans make the fucking worst beer in the world. You really do. Someone should look at that thing. That's what you think you're gonna do. Huh? You're gonna take some pills, you're gonna wash it down with some beer, and all your troubles are gonna be gone. Huh? And you're all ready now. And I should be the one putting on my big boy pants. You've got a lot of shit going on inside your head, son. Have you actually taken a look in the mirror? Have you? Have you had a good, hard, damn look inside the mirror, Joey? And figured out what's inside, what's inside here? Who you really are? Look at yourself right in the eyes and figure it out, or try to work out who is inside, who the man in the mirror really is. Because this week in Portland, Oregon, I'm gonna beat the true Joey out of you. And I'm gonna introduce you to the real Joey. Cause you don't know who you are. You have absolutely no idea who Joey is. You're lost. And you can't, I don't think you can be found. But this week, you're in for a rude awakening. You really are. You wanna come out here saying fuck Phil. Fuck the black and blue crew. There you go again. It's all about Phil. It's all about the black and blue crew. Since you joined Phil and since I joined the black and blue crew, this is who we do it. This is what we do. You represent Phil every single time you step in the ring. Doesn't matter who you're facing. I represent the black and blue crew every single time I step in the ring. It doesn't matter what match I'm in. If I lose, that affects the black and blue crew. When you lose this week, it will affect filth, because you represent that brand. But that's all filth are about, isn't it, to you? That's all you really care about, isn't it? Selling a few t-shirts and some merchandise online, getting that filth name out there, using some wrestlers at a gig to sell your crappy t-shirts. That's what it is, huh? You're not a real wrestler. You're not a fucking athlete. You see, I don't drink. I don't need to self-medicate. I don't pop some fucking pills to make all the monsters go away and now I'm ready. I train hard each and every fucking day. This is my life. The IW is my life. And I give it every single bit of my blood, sweat and tears, Joey. And what do you do? What do you fucking do, son? You bum around the IW, out the back in the locker room, looking like a fucking hobo, like a piece of shit. You really do need some help. Some psychiatric help. Have you ever thought about yoga instead of self-medicating? Have you ever thought about Pilates? What about some meditation? I know you're a vegan, you should be all about that instead of self-medicating. Get that fucking bullshit out of here. Telling me that you're ready to face Adam fucking Cage this week because you've self-fucking medicated. Grow up! You're the one that needs to put on some big boy pants because all I see in front of me now is a little fucking child. Matter of fact, maybe a scared little boy. Isn't it, Joey? You're scared. Scared to ask someone for help. Help me! You know a true man asks for help. It's not degrading. That's what people do. They ask for help. 
And the right people will give you that help. The people who actually care. John, you're not ready. Physically, mentally, you're not ready. You're not ready to collect that win against Adam Cage. Because this week, by God, you're in trouble, son. This week, right here in Portland, Oregon, Adam fucking Cage is going to knock the holy hell out of Joey fucking Taylor!